good whatever your time zone is i hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is but enough of the introductions though because what we've got served on the slice of life today is i came to the realization recently with the whole trump rally situation which i will now dub as missed trump 2024 or mt24 and the reason for not saying what it was for the people on rumble is because i'm on youtube as well but i hope you know what situation i'm talking about when i say miss trump 2024 which go figure the acronym mt24 also works out for my trump 2024 because let us be honest who isn't voting for the correct person at this rate am i right though to lay some groundwork Trump recently went on stage to give a speech with a fallen firefighter behind him in homage. And I came to the realization, as I was metaphorically putting myself in Trump's shoes, and the reason I was doing that, not to do some, like, self-serving, prideful connotation, but I was doing it because I'm a very empathetic person. And I wanted to try and get into how I would feel if I was where Trump is after being missed. And I truly wonder how Trump actually feels about the whole thing because how i felt was honestly self-deprecating because think about it if trump did pass away would that glorious man have also passed away perhaps the attacker noticed that they missed trump and kept going only to then hit a rally goer instead and then the other thought is that man would still be alive if trump wasn't doing what he is doing for america and then I can't even imagine how Trump is feeling with this. I would suspect that he feels as if he should have been hit, because it is a complete miracle that he wasn't. And then what do you do with the remorse that a strong man with a family and children passed away just because he exists? If Trump didn't exist where he is, that man would still be caring for his family. I, I tell you guys, I know for a fact that I could never be where Trump is and doing what he's doing because I have a slight anger issue. And as I was imagining this all, it just flared up. Because what do you do? There's no money that Trump could give that would suffice for the wife or the children in this case. I mean, they did raise a ton of money to support that man's family after his passing, so they should still be fine, but money just doesn't cut it. That man gave his life to protect his family, and Trump was about to do the same thing for the entire country. And I mean, Trump just puts it so perfectly with how he, how he describes how strong the patriots were, even in the face of danger. Uh, here, take a listen. I would not be here tonight. We would not be together. The most incredible aspect of what took place on that terrible evening in the fading sun was actually seen later. In almost all cases, as you probably know, and when even a single bullet is fired, just a single bullet, and we had many bullets that were being fired, crowds run for the exits or stampede, but not in this case. It was very unusual. This massive crowd of tens of thousands of people stood by and didn't move an inch. In fact, many of them bravely, but automatically stood up looking for where the sniper would be. They knew immediately it was a sniper. And then began pointing at him. You can see that if you look at the group behind me. That was just a small group compared to what was in front. Nobody ran, and by not stampeding, many lives were saved. So even in the face of danger, the strong warriors that the Patriots are just stood there and even helped if possible. It was a great amount of power that the Patriots have shown by doing that. And more importantly, it was a great amount of selflessness that had happened with that father. And utterly tragic that his selflessness came to fruition. Not tragic in the sense that his family was saved, but tragic that it came down to that. And there's quite literally no words or actions that could ever equate for the injustice that this was. But I must continue with what I was thinking about, because it downright infuriated me more than the fact of what happened, which is crazy statement in itself. But follow me for a moment. I, I was thinking about it. 
Do you think that the attacker thought that he did put Trump down and then just kept going as a Hail Mary for his final breath? And when I put my mind into thinking about this situation like that, it completely changed my view on this. From someone who just hated Trump to someone who actively disdained people for believing in something or someone that they don't. Imagine hitting a group of strong people just because you're unable to control yourself. Absolutely disgusting. And an ex-post from Riley Gaines puts it perfectly when she says, I haven't seen a single post wishing for COVID to end Joe Biden's life. We are not the same. And I, I just have to say, absolutely. The left says that us conservatives are the people who are turning up the heat in politics. But I haven't heard any claims from a conservative saying that they hope Biden gets dusted away. Meanwhile, I hear that constantly in the reversal from liberals. It is not conservatives who are turning up the heat. It is liberals. And it just proves to me once again that it is liberals who have caused all of these issues today. And I'm also going to say it once again for the people in the back. The simplest solution to all of this liberal nonsense is vote conservative. And how could it not be any easier? Just remember to get to the booth because every vote truly matters. And at the very least, by doing so, you'll be helping in making America great again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way, though, I hope to see you. Whoops. Uh, messed up in the script because there ain't going to be a tomorrow because I'm, I'm, I'm busy with stuff. Uh, I'll see you on Monday. But until then, have a good one.